What's up everyone, it's Hash, and today we're gonna learn how to play Twist and Shout. This is the Beatles version, and this is a very easy song to play. We're in standard tuning. I'm gonna give you guys my A string so you can tune, so you can play along. All right. So this riff is very simple. We're going to be playing. Okay, so how do we do that? We start with the fifth fret of our low E. We go to the seventh fret of our low E. Fourth fret of our A. Fifth fret of our A. So that's all you really have to do. It already sounds like the song. And that's when we introduce our chords. Okay, so a thing about these chords right here, it's only three chords really. It's a D major, G major, and an A major chord. So if I had to simplify the chords, all right, so when we go, now we have to play a D major chord. So the way you would normally play that here on the fretboard is, fifth fret of your A string and the seventh fret of your D, G and B string. You can get away with only playing the lowest two notes. You can only play, if you want, you can only play the fifth fret of your A string and the seventh fret of your D string. So you can go. If you want to add the higher notes, you can play the entire chord. Or okay, so after this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our G major chord. And the way I'm playing that is I have my index finger barred on the third fret of my low E as well as the third fret of my B and high E. I have my ring finger on the fifth fret of my A, my pinky finger on the fifth fret of my D string and my middle finger is on the fourth fret of my G string. Once again, with this chord, you can get away with just playing the lowest two notes as a power chord. So you could go. And then we're gonna go two frets up to our A major. With this chord, you do have to play the bar chord and I'm gonna tell you why because right after this A major chord, you're gonna be playing an A7. And in order to play an A7, you have to bar this chord. So with this A major chord, I have my index finger barred on the fifth fret. I have my ring finger on the seventh fret of my A string, pinky finger on the seventh fret of my D string, and my middle finger is on the sixth fret of my G string. So let's go back a little bit. Okay, so after this, there's almost this buildup that you do before you play this whole riff again. You go. Okay, so that is an A7 chord. What we're going to do is we're going to raise our pinky finger from the seventh fret of our D string. So now we only have, instead of, now we have this. Now this can take some practice if you haven't played this chord before because you have to bar your index finger pretty good so you can get that fifth fret on your D string. So at first if it sounds like this, don't worry, you'll have to practice this and you'll be able to play it, I promise. So once you move your pinky finger from the seventh fret of your D string, you're gonna go and you're gonna put it on the eighth fret of your B string. You're gonna go. 
As you can tell, I'm not doing a really good job barring this chord. There you go. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. So that's all we're doing with this chord, this A7 chord we play. So let's do it slow. You can play along if you'd like just to get the rhythm down. Okay, so the next part is the little riff or solo that's in the middle. Okay, so all we're doing is we're playing the fifth fret of our A and the fourth fret of our D string. This is part of a D major chord again. So we're playing this right here, fifth fret, fourth fret, and then we're going to go and we're going to move this exact same shape just over one string. So we're going to go from our A and D to our D and G. We're going to go from here to here. Exact same shape. We're playing the fifth fret now on the D string and the fourth fret now on our G string. So we go. And to complete this riff, we're going to play the third fret of our B string. We're just going to put our finger down when we go. So let's go. So let's recap. Fifth fret of our A, fourth fret of our D string. We play that once. Then we go one string down. We strum this. You can just do an up and down. And then you add the third fret of your B string. So we went. And then we're going to just play an A major chord. So you can play this however you like. You just need to play at least two strings here. You can do the second fret of your D, second fret of your G, or the second fret of your G and the second fret of your B. This is just an A major chord. So we go. And I'm playing it by barring my index finger, as you can tell. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to play another chord. This is going to be the second fret of your D string, but your G string is going to be open. So. So after we go, we're going to go. This chord may seem familiar because we were already playing this chord when we go. This right here. That is the fifth fret of our D, fourth fret of our G string. So let's put this together. So after we come here, we're just going to go to the fourth fret of our D string and the second fret of our G string. So we're going to go. So we went. Slow. So after this, all that's left to the song is this buildup, which is this A major chord. And then you can hear this note in there somewhere. So really what that becomes is it's an A major chord. And when it builds up, it goes back to this A7 chord that I was playing here, which is... You can play the A7 over here, 
by simply lifting up your middle finger, playing your G string open, and playing the third fret of your high E string. So once again, you have an A7 chord. So you go, however many times they do this with a build up. And then there's this part. And we end it here. Okay, so what we're doing here is this is just walking up the fretboard. So first fret of my eighth, third fret of my D, to the second and fourth, third and fifth, fourth and sixth, all the way to fifth and seventh. And then I play a D9 chord. Now you can also play this from here if you were playing your A major chord in the buildup and you play the A7, you can go. So the key is you stop when you get to a D power chord here or here and then you play your D9 chord. And that's played by the fifth fret of your A string, fourth fret of your D string, fifth fret of your G and B string. You can also play your high E. There's an E in that chord. And that's about it. I hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions or if there are any other songs you'd like to learn from me. Just comment below and I'll catch you boys and girls next time. Take care.